Here's how to get the mod menu mod for Minecraft 1.21.8. Let's go. Now, the first step to download mod menu is to click the second link in the description, which is going to bring you to the mod menu page. In here, we're going to select game version. We're going to choose 1.21.8, and then we're going to go ahead and hit download right here. Now, mod menu does has some dependencies, and if we press in here, we'll see that it has two dependencies. We also need the placeholder API as well as the fabric API. I'll leave you the links down below in the description. If you press on third link, it should bring you over here to the placeholder API mod, but we're going to do the same thing. Select 1.21.8, and then hit download right here. And of course, we also need to download the fabric API, which is going to be in the description as well select 1.21.8 and then hit download as well right here now we should have downloaded right now three mods and let me clean out my desktop we should have downloaded three mods the mod menu mod itself the placeholder api as well as the fabric api by this point, if you don't know why we downloaded the Fabric API, it's because we're gonna need to use Fabric as our mod loader. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna teach you how to do all of that in a second, don't worry. But as of right now, go ahead and drag and drop the mods we downloaded into your desktop. You will find those files here on your recent download history or within the default downloads folder of your computer. You could just go ahead and drag and drop them into your desktop. Now, at this point, if you already have Fabric as a mod loader installed in your computer, just add these three mods into your mods folder and you're done with this video. But if you don't have the Fabric mod loader installed, then let's go ahead and do that next click on the fifth link i believe now by this point in the description they will all be labeled though it should be the fabric link and if you come over here this is a quick article on how to install fabric in case i go too fast in this video but if you want to go straight to the point all you have to do is go down to step one press on the fabric button that will redirect you over here where we're going to press download universal jar and the download for the fabric installer should begin right away and just like we have done so far with every other file we're going to place the fabric installer in our desktop now we should be done downloading and stuff and we are ready to begin the installation process now the first thing you want do is make sure you have closed your minecraft game as well as your minecraft launcher after that go ahead and double click on the fabric installer and it should open just like this in here a small menu just select 1.21.8 and go ahead and hit install now if your fabric didn't open or perhaps it opened as a web browser a text document or maybe didn't even open at all that's because you need java 21 java 21 it's a requirement when modding minecraft 1.21.8 so i'm gonna leave you guys this article in the description on how to install java 21 but pretty much you just download java 21 hit next a couple of times and then you'll be set to install mods as well as obviously fabric for minecraft now after we have finished installing fabric let's go ahead and press ok in here we could close the installer and we could even delete the installer file from our desktop because we don't need that anymore now we should have three mods left over mod menu placeholder as well as fabric api but in here really the only actual working mod is mod menu these other two are kind of like a mod library that will make mod menu work now it's time to add them into the game and here's how to do so go ahead and open your minecraft launcher and while the minecraft launcher opens if you need a minecraft server right now the first 25 people to use the first link in the description will get 25 percent off with apex hosting when making your minecraft server this could be a server with over 300 mod packs this could be a server anywhere in the world so you don't have to worry about lagging a server that you could actually turn on and off through your phone you could access a server console through your phone and kick your friends out ban people from the server whatever you want to do you could do it through your phone so that's pretty cool and like i said you'll get 25 percent off the first link in the description and you'll be supporting the channel and now let's get back into the tutorial and as we can see the minecraft launcher just opened and since we finished installing fabric properly we have it selected here automatically but we're not gonna hit play just yet because we need to add our mods for that head over to installations and in here you should see fabric and if you don't just go ahead and press modded right here on the top right and that will show you all your modded instances including fabric if you still don't see fabric in here just press new installation and then search for fabric under instances and you should be good but if you do see fabric hover over it and press where it says open installations folder that is going to open a folder containing a lot of files but don't worry we're only looking for a folder in here called mods my mods folder is right here but maybe you don't have a mods folder and i'm actually going to delete mine because if you don't have a mods folder then we need to go ahead and create it and it's as simple as heading over to new pressing folder and then naming it mods M-O-D-S. There you go. You could create the mods folder yourself. Now go ahead and open the mods folder app. And in here, we're going to add the mods that are in our desktop waiting for us to install. That should be the mod menu, placeholder, as well as fabric API. Just go ahead and drag and drop them into here. This is also the moment that you want to add any other mods if you want to. Just make sure they are fabric as well as 1.21.8 when you add them into this folder. After that, we can close this folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher, and hit play right next to fabric because we are ready to test out our mod menu. Now, once Minecraft opens, we should have our mod menu working. And as you can see, I have the button right here and if I press it we have mod menu install meaning that if we have any other mods in here we could go ahead and manage them using mod menu and there you guys have it that's how to get mod menu 1.21.8 working in Minecraft if this video helped you don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time